Team Crow is starting with the football. Get it. Center for Johnny Manziel and the Maroon team is Andre Brooks. 2000 to 2002 on the O line. Complete to Jacob Green. The pitch to Jason Carter. The elder statesman Jacob Green with the hook and ladder. To the youngster Jason Carter. The Maroon team head coach was set to be Ray Mickens. He had a flight to catch. So their interim head coach is Derek Frazier, who holds the school record for PBUs. Terrence Murphy is his offensive coordinator. Looking for Mark Dodge in the back of the end zone. A little too high. Remember, inside the five-yard line, no run plays allowed. You must throw the football inside the five-yard line. Second down and goal. Devontae Harris, touchdown! Team Crow now takes the lead, 7-0 over Team Picker. Possession change, Team Pickard now on offense. How about Team Crow mixing it up? First play, they found the oldest man in this game, Jacob Green. Last play, they found the youngest guy out here, Devontae Harris. Second down coming. That's Rod Harris, Devontae's dad on the catch. <laughs> you got the father-son combo. How about Rod Harris? January of 88, he wins the Cotton Bowl. 25 years later, he watched his son, Devontae, win the Cotton Bowl in January of 2013. <laughs> and they're looking for Rod again. Rocky Bernard on the pass defense. Rocky Bernard, senior year of 01, 12 seasons in the NFL and a Super Bowl ring. Just got a pass break up there. Looks like he's ailing a little bit though. You need to check out Rocky. <laughs> Third down. Robert Ferguson. Did we not make it? Do we have a change of possession? Turnover on downs. Robert Ferguson on that last reception. 2000 Big 12 Newcomer of the Year. He played eight NFL seasons. Team Crow with the lead and the ball. Head coach for Team Pickard. 1998 All-American and Lombardi Award winner, Dat Win. Helping him out, All-Southwest Conference quarterback, his OC, Bucky Richardson. Oh, going deep, Mark Dodge. He got behind the defense. Rod, you're a receiver. He's got to make that grab, doesn't he? Uh, that's a straight choke. Sorry, sir. Wow. It's pretty harsh. Mark Dodge, he can, he can play all day. This guy runs Iron Man's now. He can play every play in this thing. Andre Brooks, the center. Linemen are eligible. Third down. 
A little under five minutes remaining. Five minutes. There you go, guys. Five minutes remaining. Team Pickard needs a stop. Trailing 7-0. Oh, Spencer Neely, the madman. Spencer Neely. Spencer. Hey, not on you, sir, huh? Today, not today. That's what I'm talking about. Can you believe he's in law school now? <laughs> All right, Team Pickard got the stop. Now you need the score. Oh, Spencer Neely lined up on the outside. I see a fade route coming. Oh, he's going for Robert Ferguson. That guy's too good. Touchdown. Team Pickard. And with the touchdown, it's tied. Team Maroon, seven. Team Pickard, seven. Coming up on four minutes remaining. Four minutes. I'm gonna be downtown, man. Full flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge, so it really ain't. Serving as the OC, offensive coordinator for Team Crow. All Big 12 in 2003 and 4, Terrence Murphy. Tie ball game. Who's going to make a play? Jason Carter. Did he get in? I think he's down just short of the goal line. Remember, no run plays, no rush plays inside the five yard line. Got to throw it. Team Crow looking for the lead again. Looks like we got a running back in the game, Chris Ruman. Touchdown again, Devontae Harris. That's 2012 teammates and 13. Johnny Manziel to Devontae Harris. And with the reception, Team Crow goes up. The Maroon, 14. The white team, Team Pickard, seven. Two minutes remaining, two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining. Complete to Cameron Spikes. If Team Pickard scores a touchdown on this drive, we're not looking for a tie among these two. We'll have a two-point conversion after this possession if Team Pickard scores on this drive. Second down. Toya Jones over the middle. Toya Jones on our 1998 Big 12 championship team. Also in 1997, he was an NCAA champion in the 4x100 relay. One minute remaining. Might want to get him the ball. Sorry, Will. One Last minute down. remaining. Third down, need a first for Team Pickard. Get it to Neely. Winning down. Get it to Neely. I think the play's over, fellas. Jesse Cox, Spencer Neely. Calm it down. <laughs> no run plays. Ball's at the four yard line. It's crunch time, Kyle Field. Don't like Pablo. Pablo, cut, don't like Pablo. Cut, don't 
Oh, Robert Ferguson! Once more! Team Pickard's gonna go for two! Gotta have a two-point conversion! As time expires, it's time for the two-point conversion. Can't have a tie. Going for two. Oh! <laughs> Into the hands of Mickey Washington. Couldn't quite corral it. How much time are we looking at? It's done. 12 seconds? No, the game, the game is over. The game is over. <laughs> the game is over. The game is over. The game is over. We got to call it. The game is over. Hey. Johnny Manziel, our all-time quarterback. How did it feel to be out there with these guys on Kyle Field again? Listen, listen, all these guys that are out here that come back, that have, that have put blood on this field, that have put work on this field, that have played for a number of coaches. But one thing stays the same with each and every person that's out here on this field. We're fighting Texas Aggies for the rest of our life. With, with you guys, with you guys in the stands, the 12th man each and every week, the sky is the limit for this program. We can go as far as you guys can take us. Jimbo will get it done. I have all the faith in the world in this place. I love you guys with every inch of my heart. Thank you. Well said. Thank you, Johnny.